The place at Jack built is bringing out one of the strongest fields of the 2012 season. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, presented by MasterCard. Tournament play hasn't even kicked off yet, but the Memorial Tournament presented by Nationwide Insurance has been full of action already. The 2013 President's Cup team captains have been announced. The biggest names in the game are back after various weeks off. And of course, the Golden Bear himself has already made many appearances at Muirfield Village Golf Club, a course that players call one of their favorites of the year. 2012 Masters champion Bubba Watson will be making his first start in a month after deciding to take time off to be with his family. Five-time PGA Tour champion Dustin Johnson will also be making his return to the PGA Tour this week after a two-month hiatus where he was rehabbing a knee injury. And coming back from the shortest break of all is the 2012 Arnold Palmer Invitational champion Tiger Woods, who will be looking to take his second victory of the season on a course that he knows how to win on better than anyone else in the field. The big names don't stop there, though, as Phil Mickelson, Rory McIlroy, Luke Donald, and Ricky Fowler will all be teeing it up in Jack Nicklaus's hometown this week. And, of course, you can't forget about one of the legends of the game that will be playing this week on a sponsor's exemption for a very special reason. Tiger Woods and Bill Haas will be teeing it up with Freddie Couples, who was announced as the U.S. team captain at next year's President's Cup right here at Muirfield Village. Boom Boom is looking to become the first U.S. team captain to go 3-0, which would best Jack Nicklaus's record of 2-1-1. Couples will be teeing it up with his 2011 President's Cup team members, who will be looking for that nod once again. They tee it up at 8.15 a.m. Eastern. So, Freddie will lead the U.S. team, and it will be Zimbabwe's Nick Price at the helm for the internationals. It's the first time in his career that he's had this honor, and he's a favorite worldwide with 18 PGA Tour wins and 29 international victories. And players love him. Commissioner Tim Fincham said that he believes he's a guy that everyone will want to play for. So let the fun begin with players making an early bid to represent their country at this course next year. But for who you should be putting on your fantasy roster this week at Muirfield Village, let's take a look at Rob Bolton's picks of the week. The most important player to have active this week is Justin Rose, who won here in 2010 and has recorded two other top tens here in seven starts. Right behind him is Luke Donald, who has once again risen to number one in the world golf rankings. Jim Furyk, who has missed just one cut in 16 starts and won here in 2002, is a guy you should definitely keep in mind, along with Ricky Fowler, who has four consecutive top tens on the PGA Tour and Phil Mickelson, who has seven top 25s in 12 starts at Memorial. Now for more on what we should keep an eye on this week, let's start out to our guys from Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Amanda, as we get set for the start of the Memorial Tournament presented by Nationwide Insurance, I'll tell you one thing the players are gonna find this week is a much drier golf course. Very little rain in this area so far leading up to this event. And what that means is the fairways are gonna be firm, the greens are gonna be firm, Players are going to have a difficult time keeping the ball in the fairway, and that's the key here at Muirfield Village. You must keep the ball in the fairway in order to attack these greens. As we go through the week, there might be some rain, but I tell you, right off the bat, this golf course I think is going to play much tougher than players have been used to over the past few years. Now let's go out to Bob Stevens. Carney, they've got to hit the fairways, but then they've got to do something once they get to these greens. Maybe the most undulating these guys have seen since April, that tournament at Augusta, the golf course that looks so much like this with all the undulating fairways and the very severely breaking greens. Luke Donald talked about how much faster and how much more contour there were to these greens than the ones he putted when he won last week at Wentworth. So the guys are going to be having to really be careful on the greens. Could be a lot of three putts. There will be a lot of birdies. This is the most volatile golf course on the PGA Tour. There are more birdies and eagles, more bogeys and doubles than anywhere where else on tour. We're going to see an awful lot of it when we begin our coverage beginning at noon Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Amanda? Thanks guys. PGA Tour.com's Live At crew is back for our Live At Memorial coverage. You can catch our pregame show on the tee beginning Thursday at 10.30 a.m. Eastern and our tee to green coverage from the 12th and 15th holes will begin at 11 and continue on until 6 p.m. PGA Tour Today is presented by MasterCard which invites you to play like a PGA Tour player at select TPC courses. MasterCard is a proud sponsor of the PGA Tour. 